A to the A plus 1000 to the B equal to 10. 4 to the A plus 100 to the B equal to 7. So what should we do? Here, we should pay attention to numbers. 8 and 4 are powers of 2. So we can write 8 as 2 cubed and 4 as 2 squared. 1,100 are powers of 10, so it's 10 cubed. That'd be, this one is 10 squared. That'd be equal to 10, equal to 7. Now, I want to use an important thing in power rule. That uh, x to the m to the n, you can write it as x to the n. You can switch m and n, and you can write x to the m. So here, we switch 3 and a, 3 and b, 2 and a, 2 and b. Y, you will see. 2 to the a cube plus n to the b cube equal to 10. Now for second equation. 2 to the a squared plus 10 to the b squared equal to 7. Now we use changing variable. We consider 2 to the a equal to x, 10 to the b equal to y. And then we can say x cubed plus y cubed equal to 10. And x squared plus y squared equal to 7. For solving this, we use changing variable. Okay, we call, we use changing variable x plus y equal to s. And sum of them, x, y equal to p, and we write these two equations in terms of s and p. Okay, we use two identities. You should memorize them. The first one is x cubed plus y cubed equal to x plus y whole cubed minus 3xy times x plus y. x plus y cubed is s cubed minus 3ps equal to 10 x squared plus y squared equal to x plus y whole squared minus 2xy. And it will be s squared minus 2p minus 2p equal to 7. From here, you can take negative 2p to left hand side, 7 to left hand side. So s squared minus 7 equal to 2p. We can divide both sides by 2, s squared minus 7 over 2 equal to p. Now we can replace p with in terms of s in this equation, first equation. So in first equation, s cubed minus 3ps is s squared minus 7 over 2. We replace p with that times s. Equal to t. Now we multiply both sides by 2. 2s cubed minus 3s squared minus 7 times s equal to 20. Now it will be 2s cubed minus 3s cubed plus 21s equal to 20. Now if you take all things to the right hand side, this far is negative s cubed. If we take it to the right hand side, it will be s cubed minus 21 s plus 20. Now, because the degree is 3, we should find one root. And try pause the video and try to check, try to find one root, at least. S1 works. And because S1 works, you can factorize, and one factor is s minus 1. It will be s squared, s cubed minus s squared plus s minus s minus 20. And we can factorize again. Here it's s plus 5, s minus 4. Equal to 0. Now let's see all answers for s. 1, negative 5, 4. Look here, a and b are real numbers, so x and y are positive because 2 to the a is always positive, increasing function also. So because x and y are positive, s and p are positive. So you can cancel this part because it is negative 5. Now p is what from here p is s squared minus seven over two. First one one squared one minus seven over two minus six over two minus three. This one is also bad. So for four, s squared sixteen minus seven nine nine over two. So.
x plus y is 4, xy is 9 over 2. So we can say 2xy equal to 9 if you multiply by 2. y is 4 minus x. Now here, if you replace y with 4 minus x, it will be this, it will be 9. And it will be 8x minus 2x squared equal to 9. Okay, now if you take all things to the right hand side, 0 equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 9 equal to 0. Now, for quadratic equation, if you have, for example, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, if x is real number, then discriminant is b squared minus 4ac should be at least 0. Let me write b squared minus 4ac. This part should be at least 0. Here, discriminant or delta is b squared negative 8 squared minus 4 ac minus 4, minus 4 2, 9. 64 minus 72, which is negative 8 less than 0. Okay. Contradiction. So, um, here we proved that we don't have any answer for A and B. If you have questions, send message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks.